All right, interesting. I want to go to the terrarium, is what I would like to do. I think. It's about 5 p.m. I might grab some food in the near future here. So my food that I brought. Stay all fueled up and stuff. Hello? That's what I think I will do. But parent, yeah, I figured she'd be in a really obvious spot. This is what I figured here. And I figured right. I did not need to Google it. Hey, wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? No. That's right, my old partner. How are you, partner? I mean, Harmonia. Uh, do I know you? Oh, there's all those fountains spawning in. Oh, come on, don't you pull that on me. You remember your old pal Perrin, right? I can't believe you're actually that heartless. I sure appreciate all the help you gave me back in Kitakami, tracking down the Blood Moon Beast. Never thought I'd just bump into you like this. But I'd teach you a new pose to celebrate. Looking good emote from Perrin. Oh, and you're just gonna project that into my brain because you're not gonna show me. Oh, but what about that Growlithe I entrusted to you? Is he doing all right? This was five minutes ago. It's probably just chilling in a box. I hope you put him on your team sometimes and do a bit of adventuring together. I already have a Hisui and Arcanine for my Legends Arceus playthrough, so I mean... So... So you're here some sort of exchange student, huh? Nice. What a coincidence. I just started working here. As a photographer, of course. <laughs> Um, yeah, just what I expect. <laughs> that's typical me, eh? Though I'm still sort of waiting to hear if the school likes my work, to be fair. They say they want snapshots of the terrarium and the students and all for upcoming marketing stuff. So, how about some photos of you? Ah, speaking of photos, I've got a hot tip I could let you in on. As long as I catch enough Pokemon. But if I told you, I bet you'd just go running right off. How about this? I'll snap some candid shots of you catching tons of Pokemon in the terrarium. Don't you worry, you won't even notice I'm nearby. Oh, well I already caught him. If I make enough headway in my work, by the time you register, say, 200 Pokemon in the Blueberry Pokedex, I'll share that hot tip. I did it. It's been a hot second since I saved though, so I will. So I will do that, I think. Hi. Hey, Harmonia. Don't tell me. You already caught yourself 200 Pokemon from the terrarium? Impressive. Uh, it was nothing. It wasn't nothing, it was like five dollars to shell out for a month of home. <laughs> nothing, was it? Alright, look at you Pokemon Master. What a little stinker. Because I'd rather pay five dollars than take dozens of hours here. I, I'm busy, I have stuff to do. <laughs> you probably know more about the Pokemon in the terrarium than I do. And I got here first. Did you really? I guess you've earned yourself that hot tip. Take a look at these photos, would you? Woo. Woo. So yeah, I guess you get them both at once. I honestly thought that there would be like one for uh, for Kitagami and one for Blueberry, but I guess not. I guess you get them both here. And then there's the Suicune one, Walking Wake, which is literally just like a time exclusive raid thing where if you missed it, then you're out of luck. At least if you it was bugged out the first time you had a second chance later, but it's still... But yeah, hello, hello, GMK. Joined at a good time. Want a union circle? I'm getting my, I'm getting a hot tip right now. That's what's going on. See those strange Pokemon? The first one's called Gouging Fire and the other one's Raging Bull. Actually, wait, that might not actually be a bad idea because if I ever do do a video essay on the uh, DLC, one of the things I could talk about is like the whole group quests and stuff that you need to do to get the, some legendary Pokemon are exclusive to that and the version exclusive ones of the other version you have to do through like group tasks. And I don't actually know how the group tasks work and I don't have any like footage slash experience with that to be fair. So it's like, huh, wait a second. If you want to do a group quest or something, then sure. Cause I haven't tried that out, but yeah. Otherwise I'm gonna uh, get these legendary Pokemon and do stuff there. Uh, first one's called Gouging Fire and that other one's Raging Bolt. Cause I don't even know what the group quests are honestly. Totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'd be a huge deal. Oh, there's a lot of stuff popping in. Apparently, these places are on Paldea. You have any idea where, Harmonia? No. So they aren't somewhere you can easily reach then. Wow, those spo these spots must be really special. Of course, you know how it is these days, right? These photos could totally be fakes. But if you want to know for sure, maybe you could try to search these Pokemon out. I can show you the photos again anytime you like. Just give me a shout. Find me something good, Harmonia. I've got faith in your survey skills. So, if I don't Google it, the 
goal is like use those photos to find the two. It looks like the Entei one heavy. was up high and the Raikou one was like way down low. And I assume by doing this, it's like the trigger for spawning them or something, are there? I'm all healed up and stuff, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna take on the task of trying to find them on my own without help here. That's what I'm gonna try and do. Okay. Whoa. Look how Doduo. Oh. Or look how me, I guess. I thought this was a Pokemon at first, like a Trevenant. Oh, I can fit through there. I'm honestly surprised I didn't get fat shamed. All right, well, I didn't see anything about group quest, so I'm just gonna go to area zero in that case. Which, wait, I, do I do this? Is that how I get in? I actually don't know. I've never like fast traveled into area zero before or anything like that. So, I'm just gonna try my best to find these two. And if it seems like it's absolutely ludicrous trying to find these two, then I'll just Google it where they are. But let's enter the void for now. And let's teleport me into area zero. Where do you like to go? Um, one is the top one, right? Because yeah, the Entei one looked like it was up high. And the Raikou one looked like it was down low. And can I freely fly in area zero now that I have like the free flight thing? Is that a thing that I can do? Because that would speed up the whole looking for them process. I want to know what it's like as the experience of an average player just trying to find them. It looked kind of like that cliff for the, uh, for the one there. Yeah, I can free fly around the flashbang area. It was a cliff like this. Maybe I should have taken screenshots on, uh... Oh, wow, there's a... The Paradox one's all the way up here now. I thought that was it at first. I'm holding to the right. I'm going left, I guess, because of the camera angle and stuff. Ow. Yeah, I probably should have taken screenshots of that reference. Was it up there? Whoa. Oh. Flying through area zero is not exactly great, I don't think. So just look up on cliffs and stuff. Can I do a flyby while grabbing an item? No, that would have been cool. So, like, it was on some cliff high up. I probably shouldn't be too high up or else stuff isn't going to spawn. Yeah, there's everything popping in. Yeah, I really wish that one photo side quest was just the way that Pokemon spawned, like, normally in this game. I think that that would make the world feel a whole lot more authentic. So, instead of just popping in all around me all the time. What's this? Yoink. Draco Meteor. This is not where not Entei oh. is. Um. Hmm. It's around here somewhere. I like the whooshing sound. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. What? It just makes me fall all the way down? Wow. Alright, well, I don't see any Entei around here. Yeah, I should have taken a screenshot of that, uh. That thing where Bob, that was dumb of me. It'd be nice if it was just something that you could access as like a key item in your pocket or something like that. But alas, there's another TM. I guess I'll grab Wink or Sphere. Hmm. Just make sure that this cliff is checked. I'll do a little bit of a circumference around the cliffs. I think I checked this one. It was around here that I hit a Braviary, so... i just double check this to be safe. Because, yeah, I assume that they won't be like the uh, Titan Pokemon where they're just always spawned, always rendered. It would make finding them a little bit easier if they were. But I doubt that that's the case. I would imagine. It seemed to be something that was kind of exclusive to the Titan ones. As far as I could tell. Okay, let's see here. Boink. I'm taking that. Fly. So I can fly. Because if I just do a circumference around the cliffs, I should find it, right? Oh, that's not a that's not a cliff there. Will it be down here or something? Should I check down there? I'll check up here real quick. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, I find it and there it is jittering away. Well, we've run into this bug yet again, where the Pokemon don't quite, 
work. <laughs> oh man. How close do I need to get for it to start working properly? Okay, so it was up here. Oh, is it stop shaking? Okay, and yeah, it's not always rendered. Oh, please turn, please turn, please turn. Yeah, so like, whoa. Okay, you're not being jittery this time. But wait, if you become like unloaded and then loaded back in, just out of curiosity, will you become jittery? Curious. Low frame rate, but not jittery. Interesting. You're just gonna chill there, I guess. We. what's this? Okay, I can just run across this. This is fine. Wink. Fresh water, ah. Sure is a surprise that I got this year. Sneak up behind it and stuff. <laughs> Alright, I should probably do what that to try and paralyze you immediately. And then... Save your progress. Okay. <laughs> So, hi, howdy, I found ya, how's it going? <laughs> the immersion is unreal! <laughs> oh, these games, huh? All right, let's interact here. Let's go ahead and toss that Pokeball. Right there. <laughs> Engra. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, basically Entei, but with like some crazier claws and that crazy headpiece there. Gouging fire, huh? Can I pull off the Thunder Wave? I am higher level. Burning Bulwark, Is like your exclusive move or something. Dragon Fire protected itself. Okay. Well, I guess Protect doesn't uh, do anything about that, though. Sweet. Now I should be faster. I'm not gonna use Swagger. I'm not faster. Wow. Alright, can't use Protect stuff twice in a row. I think I heard about that move. Where it's like, Protect and if hit with a physical move, it'll inflict a burn. I'm fairly certain. That's how that goes. Alright, whittle you down. Lava Plume. Does that lower your uh, special attack? Nope. I think I must be thinking of Eruption or something like that. Like some Triceratops? You know, he's meant to be like dinosaur-like or something, I guess. <laughs> Normally, if you go into a Pokemon model in this game, it just... Like, makes them go invisible so that this doesn't happen. I guess they don't have that for these ones. Uh, okay, uh, wow, wow, <laughs> first person Pokemon, um, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense why they'd want the Pokemon to go invisible if you put the camera into them. I don't know why this one specifically, maybe it's just these three in general, these Paradox ones, aren't programmed with that line of code or something like that. Like, let's see here. For reference, if I did this... Oh, maybe, maybe I'm going crazy and it's not even a thing? Maybe it's only out in the field and not in battle? Now, there is no line of code for that? Huh. <laughs> um, huh. Well then. Well, okay. Let's hope that you don't immediately one-shot me with a fire-type move. You wanna see something crazy? <laughs> Come look at this. <laughs> uh, looks like Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, that's uh, that is this game here. So I'm having a great time. <laughs> uh oh, please don't kill me. Surprise, you're still faster. 
Oh, that's a protect. Oh, that's why it's faster. Oh, and I'll be burned, I think. Yeah. Alright, well... Alright. And then... But you should be getting pretty low here anyway. So... Yeah, one more of those and we're good, I think. Uh-oh. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Oh no, I was burned. Or no, this is the hurt by the burn. <laughs> okay, so then do this. All right, so now I think the catch rate should be about as high as it's getting without putting it to sleep rather than paralysis. The highest consistent catch rate where I can just keep chucking Pokeballs without having to reapply sleep. Oh uh, man. Oh uh, boy. All right, what's fitting for it, huh? I mean, like... There's that friend ball. That would be kind of cool. I don't know. I only have so many of those. I always duplicate them or something later. Um, There's no blue on you, though. Fastball, maybe. What's just a really yellow Pokeball? But you don't really have any blue on you. You have the blue eyes. I mean, the yellow is kind of your main feature there. So, I mean, like... Hmm. I mean... Yeah, if it was one of the things where I had a guaranteed capture, maybe I'd go for one of those ones. But as is... I mean, this would sort of complement your colors. There isn't really any black, I don't think. But there's the white and, like, the red of Entei. Something like that. That's what I could well do. Eh, I I think I will here. I'm gonna go for a repeat ball. That's what I'm gonna do here. Alright, let's see it. Let's give it a toss. Let's see what happens here. I was about to say if that was immediate. Okay, it puts the camera angle back to this. Unfortunate. Sad days. Alright. Put someone there that's gonna be resisting those fire attacks. How about like this? Or Torrent. Could have always gone with Torrent, but let's go with Glader for now. That's what I think we'll do. Okay. Oh, let's turn the race. So yeah. Chuck that repeat ball. Don't worry, it'll work. Just you wait. What I tell you. I'm honestly surprised that worked. Alright, I got one. <laughs> that was so much less painful than Ho. -Oh. Wow, okay. Gouging Fire Paradox Pokemon. There are scant few reports of this creature being sighted. One short video shows it rampaging and spouting pillars of flame. Gouging Fire nickname? Uh, maybe at some point. Did I give Walking Wake a name? And if so, what? I don't remember. Alright. Wait, what's... There's three slots there. So one would be for the uh, Paradox Raikou. But then what's the last thing? What? Because it's not walking wake, evidently. Um, where's my walking wake? Where even? Where's my walking wake? What? It's gotta be in this box or something. Right there it is. No, there was no name. Just walking wake. Okay, well. Yeah. I was gouging fire, so I had dive ball and then repeat ball and then... Oh my I don't know. God. Is there something so kind of yellowy for uh, one. for the Paradox Raikou, I, I whatever really it is, favorite. as well? I probably yeah. can't paralyze it, though. Which means it's going to be a little bit more annoying. Let me just double check. Pokemon, Scarlet, Violet. Can you paralyze electric types? Um, electric type Pokemon can paralyze it all. Reddit doesn't really look like... From what this one post is saying. Paralyzed with Sun or Thunder Wave, but about Dragon Breath or Lick. Um, it can't be paralyzed at all. Okay, well, that's gonna kinda suck, isn't it? Okay, well, um, in that case, let me, um, I pressed A on boxes by accident, but thankfully the input didn't go through, so. <laughs> yeah, and then do that, and do this. We go and then like do that not quite fully restored but hey close enough all right let's go ahead and save
There we go. 